Hi, I'm Clifton Yin, a Clean Energy Policy Analyst here at ITIF. And uh, the question of the week is, is Clean Energy Policy, uh, Clean Energy Innovation Policy, picking winners and losers? Uh, picking winners and losers is, is kind of a favorite argument of critics of federal investment in clean energy. Uh, they, like to, they like to think that um, you know, this, these kind of federal investments in clean energy is a, it's a form of political favoritism or political cronyism. Um, but we here at ITF really believe that's not the case at all. Um, as a matter of fact, Clean Energy Policy Innovation isn't so much picking winners and losers as it is creating an environment um, that allows uh, winners to emerge, ARPA-E and, and uh, energy innovation centers and, and, the, and the like. Um, you know, we're not so much investing in a single company, um, picking out a single company, but rather investing in a whole suite of technologies, um, break, you know, the breakthroughs of which in any of these would really lead to um, you know, great societal benefits. Um, and you know, it's these kind of policies that actually led to success uh, traditionally in the fossil fuels industry. Um, so, you know, definitely here, here at ITIF, we do not think that clean energy policy innovation picks winners and losers, but really is a matter about um, letting winners emerge in the, the developing clean energy industry. Um, so thanks so much for your time.